Tmux is one of my favorite tools for software development. It allows me to write code, tail logs from development servers, spin up new consoles for testing, and create ad hoc terminal screens, all with short and concise key commands. Tmux allows me to get into a flow state quickly. Flow state is the mental state of operation in which a person performing an activity is fully immersed in a feeling of energized, focused, full involvement, and enjoyment in the process of the activity. Basically, when I'm in flow state, I'm a total stud. So staying within that mental state is a must. Now, I've seen some of your comments, so I know what you're going to say. But Typecraft, if you use Linux with a tiling window manager, you don't need Tmux. And to some extent, I agree. But let me tell you something. I have used Linux for many years, even Arch, by the way. But when your Wi-Fi fails at a client's office because you updated your drivers that morning and you spend most of the day trying to reinstall Wi-Fi drivers, you tend to move on from Linux. So for me, on Mac OS, Tmux gives me that feel of a tiling window manager without any of the downsides of Linux. And trust me, I love Linux, just not for professional development. So without further ado, let's go over the basics of Tmux so you too can be a cool neck beard like me one day. In this video, we'll be covering a few things. Installation of Tmux, using panes and windows, managing sessions, and also configuring Tmux with a tmux.conf configuration file. By the end of this video, you'll be pretty familiar with the basics of Tmux, and then we can be friends. Now, installing Tmux is easy enough. If you're on Mac OS, you want to use Homebrew, as you would with most other programs and development libraries. And if you're on Linux, you want to use whatever your package manager is on your Linux distribution to install Tmux. Now, if you're on Windows, it's a little bit different. What you're going to want to do is delete Windows and reinstall Linux, and then use a package manager. I am currently running Mac OS, so I am going to use Homebrew to install Tmux by running brew install Tmux. Nice. After installation, if we run Tmux, we are instantly put into a new Tmux session. As you can see, there's a green bar at the bottom indicating that we are in a Tmux session. Starting from left to right, you can see we are in the zeroth session and our zeroth window is running ZSH. Then towards the right, you can see some information about our computer, the time, and the date. The leader key for all Tmux commands is Control B. We use Control B to run commands in Tmux. From now on, we'll refer to this as leader. If we we want to split a pane in half vertically, we type liter percent. To split a pane horizontally, we type liter double quote. And if you want to move around your panes, you can just type liter and any arrow key. Up, down, left, or right. As you can see in this video, I am moving around my panes as I speak. You can move a pane from one position to another by typing leader and open or closed squiggly brace. And you can toggle between different built-in pane layouts by typing leader space. If you type leader space over and over again, you will keep going through different layouts. To create a new window in this Tmux session, you type leader C. You can see we have a new window in the left-hand side of our status bar at the bottom. You can rename your windows by typing leader colon. This brings up a command buffer that you can type commands into. The command to rename a window is rename window. So we can rename our current window to editor by typing leader colon and then type rename window and then put in our new window name. We can then switch back to our previous window with leader N and rename that window as well. To detach from our session, we can type leader D. This will keep Tmux running in the background. We can then list our sessions of Tmux by using the command Tmux list sessions. You could also use Tmux ls. When we run that command, we see our session that we detached from with some helpful information like the number of windows, its names, when it was created, and so on. To reattach to our previous session, we just type Tmux attach. This will put us right where we left off. To create a new session, we can detach one more time and run Tmux without arguments. This will create a brand new session for us. We can check out all our sessions within Tmux by typing leader S. And by using our arrow keys, we can move to and select the session to jump into. Currently, our session names aren't very descriptive. So let's rename our sessions by using leader colon and running the command rename session. We can then travel back to our other session and rename that one as well. I am a full stack developer, so at any given point in time, I usually have one React session and one Ruby on Rails session. We can see now if we list our sessions with leader S that we have nicely named sessions. You can also use the command leader W to see all our windows within each session. Leader W is pretty awesome to say the least. Let's talk about configuring Tmux to better suit our needs. When Tmux loads, it will read a special dot file at your base path called .tmux.conf. So let's open that file and add some cool stuff to it. For me, I have caps lock set to control. 
So control S is way more comfortable as a leader key than control B. So let's set set dash G prefix to CS. This means control S. We can save that file and then run a special command in tmux called source to source a tmux.conf file. Now our new leader key is working. One more thing in tmux that I like to use is vim key bindings. There's a setting in our tmux.com file where you could write set dash G mode keys VI. With this setup, we can now use leader HJKL to move around our panes in tmux. And since I'm a super cool neck beard vim user, I love this setting. So I hope you enjoyed this basic tutorial of using and configuring tmux to your needs. Now, if you would like to know how to get tmux as good looking as the clip you're seeing in front of you right now, check out this video next. And hey, thanks nerds.